Hello and welcome to another how-to tutorial. This week's episode is how to Photoshop. In this video, we'll be covering some of the most basic tools of Photoshop for those of you just diving into this awesome program. So let's get started. Over here on the left, you have your toolbar. The tool at the top of the toolbar is called the Move tool, and it does just what it sounds like. You can click and drag on things to move them around on your image. The next three are different kinds of selecting tools. The first one selects either a square, if you want to select a square, or you can right click it to also select a circle. Once you have a selection made, you can use that move tool from before to move that selection around to a different place of your image. The next selecting tool is the lasso tool. With this, you can draw your own shape that you want to select. And you can also move that about just like the other selections. By right clicking the lasso tool, you can get the polygonal lasso tool which is kind of like the one before, but instead of drawing your shape, you click each time you want to put a corner. This gets you a little more jagged, but also more precise selections. The next tool down is the magic wand tool. What this tool does is when you click on a color, it finds all the same color around it. For instance, when we click on this black, it locates the rest of the black. If we click up here on the black of the H, it will select all of the black that it can find. Then we can use that move tool and move that out of the way. The next tool is the crop tool. So what we are going to do is when you click it, it brings up these little corners. You simply click and drag a corner in to how big you want your image and then hit enter and it will crop your image down. We're going to skip a few of the more advanced tools here and go right to the brush tool. Now what the brush tool does is pretty much just what it sounds like. You can brush different colors onto your image. Now we have a really small brush selected so we're going to go ahead and select a bigger brush and you can turn up the size and the hardness. Now the hardness is kind of how big the feather or like soft area around it is. So this is a pretty soft brush because it has kind of a, a light feather around the edge. If we turn up the hardness, you can tell what it actually does. Now we are painting with white here because that is our foreground color. Down here you have your color selections. White is your foreground and black is your background. Click on one to change the color. So if we wanted to paint with red, we just select a nice red color and begin painting. There's two different ways to change the size of your brush. One, like you saw before, is this size thing. And two is by pressing this button on your keyboard. The next tool we're going to look at is the pencil tool. Now this pencil basically is a very small hard brush. This lets you get more precise drawings when you're drawing an image. The next tool is the eraser tool, which pretty much does the same thing that you would expect. You just click to erase parts of your image. The next tool is the blur tool. Once again, to make the brush bigger or smaller, you can press this button. The blur tool does just what it sounds like as well. When you color over something, it blurs it. Color over it for a little while, and it gets much more blurry than the rest of your image. The last tool we're going to look at is the text tool. Click on this T to start up the text tool. Then click and drag an area that you would like to type in. Once you have your area, simply begin typing. So I've typed out the word Photoshop. It's red because our foreground color is red and the text tool is set to red. If we were to highlight this and set it to maybe a nice hot pink color, it would be a nice hot pink color. You can also highlight this to change your font, just like any text editing application such as Microsoft Word. You can change your font, you can change how big it is, or bold, or italics. You can change 
its size, and you can change how sharp it is. By clicking this button, you can bring up even more text options. This will make your text bigger or smaller. This will change your text's height and width. Once you have everything you want, just click out of it and you are all set. I'm glad you watched this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please hit the like button down there and come back for more tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching.